बात कर रहे होते हैं इंडिया में सो दिस इज वन ऑफ दॉलेजेस विच इज देयर इन एवरी स्टूडेंट लिस्ट एंड आई थिंक शी मेड इट इन टू दॉलेज बिकॉज शी इज करेंटली फर्स्ट इयर स्टूडेंट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन आई वॉन्ट यू टू यू नो इंट्रोड्यूस अबाउट योर सेल्फ टू दियंस uh hi ashi first of all i'd like to thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to share my insights and my experience with everybody with everyone and uh, i'm gargi tomar and i'm currently a first year student at department of business economics uh, university of delhi and um, uh, i completed my graduation in 2020 and uh, after that uh, uh, for around a work year of work ex and cat preparation i decided to go for the mba and right now here i am um, trying to do the best so amran you mentioned that you have work experience so how many years of work experience you have gargi around 8 or 9 months uh, i okay. mean if you see it it will be like complete one year and what have you done in your graduation in terms of uh, you know the course i have actually done engineering okay so cool from computer science so i mean i think that was pretty much about gargi now second questions i think agar ye student videos dekhenge ki kaisi journey thi right i mean let's say agar ek student jiski list mein uh, you know uh, agar hum baat kare dbe hai to kitna kyunki i think sirf cat accept karta hai ye college right you can apply through cat and kitna cut off kitna percentile student ko chahiye if he, they want to receive a call letter for the second round of shortlisting and how was your journey you know when you was looking for all these b schools and and how you made it to the specific institution yeah i think uh, coming to db was uh, like bit of a destiny uh, i got the acceptance letter uh, at pretty last so i would say uh, in terms of percentile if you want to be very safe so i would suggest uh, anywhere between 96 or 97 percentile you should be aiming for and uh, if you have the uh, luxury to wait the percentile around 92 or 93 percentile might yeah, also fetch you a call because mm-hmm. what happens in these schools is that they don't release the shortlist in just one go right mm-hmm. they have several rounds and they go through those rounds on the basis of the uh, number of students that accept the first shortlist mm-hmm. then the second shortlist is released and ye kahin na kahin category wise vary karta hai we are discussing about general category right right the obc sc and st category it might uh, go a little low like i have students in my class with 85 percentile or 80 percentile as well hmm. but uh, they uh, on the on the contrary they had a very good academic background hmm. like their scores in 10th and 12th or in their graduation were very good so i think that is also kept in mind while they shortlist the students so let's say you know if you have different category different cut off they evaluate your academic profile they give you for the for the second round of shortlisting now what is second round of shortlisting what it consist of so basically uh, uh, up till i think uh, the year before they also had interviews but since uh, last year there was some covid situation so they directly released the shortlist and the interview process was uh, elim- eliminated from the admission process so last Great. year we, did, we didn't have the interview hmm. for dbe वैसे they have their interview process yeah so i mean apart from interview they don't have anything they just have interview process yeah So do you have any idea that what kind of questions they ask I mean let's say you know I mean if you have heard from your seniors who are there in the college they have gone through through, through the process or you don't know that what kind of questions they usually ask in terms of personal interview what it consists mm. of Since my seniors also didn't have the interview process so I can not tell you the exact kind of questions that they would be asking uh, but since the course is uh, more oriented towards the uh, economic side hmm. so I would suggest everyone to have a little uh, knowledge around the basic i mean the basic eco part yeah so we have seen so many kind of types of colleges in india right and there she clearly specified ki agar aap prepare kar rahe ho personal interview ke liye jaise humne kai sare colleges dekhe jo you know banking se related courses kara rahe hain ya fir jo marketing management se to unke questions jo hain wo usi ke around hote hain the same thing jo college hai uske naam mein hi hai that is department of business economics so you need to prepare 
the questions can be that why you want to come for this specific course right mm-hmm. and might be the general awareness general knowledge about the domain right so that is something mm-hmm. what you need to prepare for what is the fee structure of how much you're exactly paying because that is the main heart of this college the return and investment so what is the fee structure what how much you're paying as it has been provided in the website our annual fees for the course is 12500 and nothing more or less than that aap imagine kar sakte hain ki you know jahan hum kai sari colleges ki website pe dekhte hain 22 lakh 25 lakh jisko pay aap hi ko karna hai more or less right bhale aap loan leke jao ya aapke parents sponsor kare so you need to repay it but yahan pe it's like uh, i mean i think isse kam mein aur kya milega when it comes to and that to college jiska package placements kafi acche hain and reputation bhi kafi acche hai so that's was fee structure now a question hai ki let's say hum baat kare fee structure bahut kam hai to ek mind mein thought aayega government college right because i mean agar hum iims ki baat kare so they have this thing ki hum they are very expensive in terms of fee structure because management makes more of practical to do deliver karna padta hai plate mein that is something which is important so how i mean ye jo stigma hai student ke man mein ki aisa to nahi hai ki you know you'll not get the proper faculties or college life aisi nahi hai to i mean i think it's been months you're being you're there at the campus right. so what do you want to say on that i think for my experience i can definitely say that the program is as rigorous as it is in any of the iims mm-hmm. and our faculties are very renowned in their sectors and they know what they are delivering right there so we get those opportunities in uh, i think it's not like we don't get the enough exposure or anything of that sort obviously there are going to be some differences between the iims and the du curriculum right like the curriculum is very different uh, like we have um, various subjects on economics and uh, since we are a dual specialization mba so we have analytics and uh, marketing and finance as the specializations so the courses are also focused towards there and uh, other than that i think uh, it's very rigorous and uh, if you are up for a challenge then definitely it's it's worth the ride so what is the intake i mean how much how many seats they have i mean for the course uh, i'm not uh, like aware about the exact intake but currently we have around 90 or 94 students in our okay. class so i mean i think that's pretty much about the fees the about the college life right and uh, how many of mm-hmm. uh, how many months of internship you guys have the two month internship program and ye delhi mein exactly kahan located hai it's in the south campus actually we mm. have two main campuses uh, the north campus and the south campus and the main delhi university campus like where all the departments are situated in that university campus uh, we have our department so what do you want to say on like, infrastructure and clubs and communities what you have at your college i think the whole system at dbe student run from uh, you know the committees to clubs to everything is managed by students so i think that is one of the most uh, important uh, leverage that we have because you know in mba it's all about gaining the practical experience and that is provided us through these uh, clubs and committees and uh, the right exposure that we expect other than that the infrastructure uh, we share uh, our building with the department of financial studies so uh, you know it's like we have conversations with them and discussions around what is happening in the mba world or in even in general so i think it's pretty uh, the infrastructure is pretty interesting in those terms as well i mean there is a lot of scope for growth and what about hostel options i mean is that available for students inside um, the campus or you have to find it outside the campus so the program is not completely residential but yes you have the option to avail the hostel facilities hmm. but the seats are very limited and i think uh, it's on the basis of the merit so you okay. you'll have to apply and if you have a good score then you might get in so i mean i think that's pretty much about it what what do you think you know what is the best hangout place at dbe a cafeteria we have a very huge cafeteria and the usual hangouts happen around that place only and we have a very very nice library it's yeah. a, it's i think a four story library with i mean it's huge It's okay literally so huge yeah what is that one thing what you'll find at db but not other b schools are there as i said that it's not a residential program right so uh, the one thing that i think differs dbe oh. from others is that in all the residential programs you get everything delivered to your plate hmm. but in dbe you have that leverage to go Manage out there and <laughs> have those things like i have been living for 
from the college so the daily travel the commute and uh, you know learning to manage your finances those are the kind of the things that you get to experience at dge which i don't think any other college could provide really so ek aur last question hai students class mein nahi milenge to kahan milenge agar student class mein nahi milenge to satya mein milenge <laughs> satya niketan uh, is a place it's a student hangout place near our university campus and we have a lot of cafes and everything around there so if they are not in the class probably they are hanging out so what is the one suggestion you want to give it to them to all the aspirants who must be watching your video you know i think uh, first make your goals clear and उसके हिसाब से ही यू कैन एम फॉर वॉट एवर स्कोर दैट यू आर एमिंग एंड फॉर कैट प्रिपरेशन आई थिंक आई वुड लाइक टू जस्ट गिव दिस वन बिट ऑफ एडवाइस ट्राई टू रिड्यूज योर नेगेटिव एज मच एज पॉसिबल ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट ओनली दोज क्वेश्चन विच यू फील आर करेक्ट एंड विच विल फैच यू राइट मार्क्स अदर देन दैट गिव योर बेस्ट एंड ऑल्सो टेक द इंटरव्यू एंड जी डी प्रोसेस इज वेरी सीरियसली बिकॉज स्टूडेंट्स डू गेट एलिमिनेटेड इन दीज प्रोसेस डिस्पाइट हैविंग अ वेरी गुड परसेंट टाइम सो थैंक यू सो मच यू नो गार्गी फॉर योर टाइम it was good interacting with you and i think this video will definitely help a lot of aspirants who might be having you know db in their list so thank you so much for your time thank you arshi